Welcome back everyone, this is Shadow Jake, and here we're gonna continue Trade Ropa, and uh... The only reason I'm in this screen is because I've been wondering... Orbiting the sun every four hours... So that means that basically... What? What's that? Three, six, nine, twelve in-game days I technically orbit the sun? Or is it supposed to be orbiting Jupiter every four hours? And then Jupiter has its own orbital period. See, that's what confuses me, because you would think that that would give me some form of seasonal variation for its, uh, highly varying sunlight. Huh. It's just a thought I had, but anyways. Uh, let's get back to it. I'm rested, I'm fresh, and that was an embarrassingly long amount of time to program one single, uh... <laughs> one single... Oh, I forgot I did this too. Cognition low. Oh, my cognition's slow. Oh, I'm bad cognition. All right. So first thing we're gonna do. Oh, I love these lights. Why did I sleep so hard on these? I'm such a dumb man. Collect the gear works. Collect the gravel. Three, 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 three. So there's some things I want to get done today. Uh, watch. I have, like, no space for anything. Maybe I should actually start deleting some of these things. Like, why would I need a portable scrubber? Or this mining belt. Yeah, who needs this? Alright, let's get rid of some stuff. Duh. Duh. That gives me some space. More or less ecosphere essentials. Like, are you a plant trader? I just want to call you down to see. All right. So one of the things that I'm wondering is that might be something for later. You know, when I am scanning these down, you know, I have the power setting and stuff. The target pad index, interrogation process. I mean, obviously I interrogated this, I think. Because I think that would be a zero if it wasn't. Watts reaching contact, minimum watts to contact. So this is probably a large trader. Contact type ID, 5544112100. I have no idea where to look for that in here. Is there like a contact ID for different people that I can find somewhere? Uh... Build ink. See, that's. I may have to wiki it hard because that's that's the confusing part. Maybe I'll look it up eventually because I do want to try to see if I can automate this kind of look. That minimum watts to contact value. That's that's either 168 or 1068. I can't tell. 168, so probably one of the smaller ones, or like, definitely not that. Gotta be one of the smaller ones. Minimum watts to contact 168. Watts reaching, no. I should look at watts reaching, so. That means it'll have to be... Well, I already contacted him. So it's got to be one of the ones I already brought down and stuff. But, you know, Cosmo... Con oh. Is it Cosmo Convenience? It also says 168, right? No, 1121. I'm looking for 1121, but they were already contacted, so... See? Maybe I will need to do something like that. Figure out what the min and maxes are for the large traders, because to be honest, I I need to do kind of like a cycling thing to pinpoint them to call the large traders down. But mediums and smalls are absolutely trivial to me. Let's see. See, that's like doing nothing. That's cooled down quite a bit. All right. And I do want to go back and relook at that because. 
I want to check to see like if the quantity of people is above zero and also subtract however many are in the uh, pads. You want six muffins for 175 space bucks. Alright, look, I'm going to hold you hostage for now. i got to check what this guy is. Oh, your seats. That's a lot of water. See, that bulk water is kind of a pain in the butt to work with, because you see 100 moles. And recall, it takes 52 liters, so it's 2 liters of water that he wants to buy from me. Yeah, I don't have that. Go home. And yes, I know, I, sorry to say, but it looks like I'm working on getting a rocket system set up. I'll be honest, I probably won't have that set up anywhere near soon. Because one of the things I need to do is have a ridiculous amount of volatiles. And that's why I've been checking those. Oh, right, I should probably turn my light back on. That's why I've been checking this and seeing this slowly drop. This fuel is also slowly dropping. And this only has 1930 liters. That's kind of not a lot. You know, oxygen, I'm I got plenty. I got plenty of oxygen. So I'm sure you people will know. Oh. Why do I have that much? Okay. There we go. I'm sure you're wondering, why do I... What was I even going with this? I'll go mining. I gotta get some volatiles. Oh my... I have junk in my backpack. Did I have those because I wanted to do something else? There. little thing of volatiles. Alright, let's go this way. I haven't gone this way, I don't think. I don't think I've gone over this mountain. So, I need volatiles. And I need plenty of them. Found some. I need both volatiles and water. Funnily enough. I might do something with the water where I split it into fuel. Because, I mean, I'm not... Well, to be fair, I'm not really running out of fuel. Oh. Give me a sec, my wife is up. One sec, my wife is up, so I'm muting myself. All right, now I'm back for real. What did my brain, what was I talking about? 
I mean, we all know painfully well that I get absolutely distracted and just forget literally everything that I'm doing. Very painfully aware of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, my goals for today. Uh, keep printing stuff. I'll probably have to do some research to find out what the trader IDs are. For, uh, seeing what they are. Because the only reason I want to know them is so that I can... Ignore some traders, you know? No reason for me to call down... Uh, you know, the appliance trader, for example, if they're not really gonna sell anything. Or whoever the other guy was. There is somebody that will only sell to you, but not buy anything. And you know... I, I like the trade system a bit, just for what it is. But they can use some polishing. A lot of polishing. And, uh, like, and like I said, uh, buying liquids from the liquid trader is kind of a scam. A ridiculous scam. Alright, now I need to get out. Backpack is practically full. Mining belt is almost full. Let's just get a few more volatiles. It won't hurt, right? Alright. Can, the question is, can I get out safely? That way. Oop, my holes are... Yeah, but yeah, the liquid traders are kind of a scam. I'll have to call down a gas trader and a liquid trader to kind of show off what I mean. But, I mean, you can, trust, you can kind of trust me on that. There you go. This is a really bright light. If you fall, you can actually take some physics damage. All right. This shouldn't be on. Oh, it is on. Okay. Got a little bit of coal. I can just... Pressure's getting pretty toasty. I mean, I'm processing 81 moles. But that's the, making the liquids is the tough part. I'm hearing breaks somewhere. Gotta be in here. Ooh. So that's 16 kilomoles. That's gonna roughly double this. Hopefully, this pushes it a little bit over. Because this is gonna keep, uh, Build, so yep, let's go get some more volatiles. Um, before I do though, I think I should probably sell to that guy. 
I have a surplus of iron. I might as well sell more. 100. 200. 300. 400. 500. Pull. 100. 200. 300. Alright, let's go sell to that guy. Because I, I do want to call down a gas and a liquid trader to show what I mean. And I know I've been ignoring a lot. Okay. Astralor Emporium. Giving you all of that. All of that. Uh, I don't think I need any super alloys for the time being. So you can go home now. Made a lot of sensors. It looks so much homey with this. Is this still printing? What am I printing? You're not printing anything. You've just been wasting power? I guess that must have been a reset thing. It stopped. It didn't print. Alright. Uh, space banners. Nebula nucleus. It's a gas, I believe. Nebula nuggets. Well, Cosmic Crush. I believe that's water. So let's just see. What you are. Galactic Gravel, Space Spices, uh, Cosmic Crush. You can come down. I think Nebula Nucleus is... Uh... Gas? It is just horribly confusing. I still get absolutely confused by them. Just always. Oh. I don't want to test out how good my uh, spawn pad works. So let's see. Uh, you are somebody. Cosmic Crush was just. Not what I thought. You're an ore trader? How many times have I been ignoring you? Sending y'all back. I need to check on that pipe. I want to make sure it didn't break because it's going to have some NOS. Oof. That's kind of a problem. warmed up. How did it warm up? I guess it got rid of all of the cold gases and now it's warmed up. Alright, I guess nothing to worry about. Okay, so back to mining. I know, I know. It's the Mining is boring and stuff, but I really need to get uh more stable surplus of uh I need to get a very stable surplus of volatiles making 
Okay, so this time I'll go for volatiles and water. Look at that. Volatiles. Water because you you know. I I'm gonna try filling up that water valve with more water and see if that increases the efficiency for how well it actually moves heat around in my base because it's just weird to me that it's just not. Alright, let's see. NOS. NOS. That's a lot of NOS. Oxides. Alright, let's get out of here somehow. Where's my exit? I'm in a giant hole. Let's dig up. Without crushing myself this time. There you go. Excellent. There's my landing pad. Okay. Keep going. Oh, water. Water. Honestly. The water is actually doing a very good job of uh, what I want it to do. I think I'll probably set up the evaporation chamber to a little bit higher, maybe 100 Celsius. Maybe that'll get a little bit more water. Wait, I had the wrong backpack on, didn't I? Oh boy, there's a reason why I don't like to put that on there. I don't like to have. I like to have my mining belt fill up second so that it can be kind of like an overflow. Alright. Water. I saw more water around here somewhere. There's volatiles. I gotta go after them. Let's go after this water, then those volatiles. You know, admittedly, I could go back and mine, mine a little bit more of some, you know, stuff that I would need, you know, like cobalt, silver, and stuff. Just throw all the ores inside the uh, the recycler and the centrifuge, because it will process them quickly and it will off gas them, so that I don't have to worry about any gases in them. It is a valid way to get rid of the gases. Got this stupid. I've actually never sent off a rocket in Europa. I've sent one off in Mimas. I've mapped up all the planets except for Venus and Europa. And I would like to get this one done, kind of like quickly-ish. But I know that S is not going to be someone who would play forever. And she's expressed interest in the rocket system, so I'm going to... Whoa, that's a big hole. This is a big hole. And uh, and Eza has expressed interest in her, in building her rocket, but well, it's like so much of a vacuum here, we can barely hear anything. I might have to reset up that medium uh, radiator again and just uh, tell to fill my that water system up pretty decently. Okay, I need volatile some more. So, you know, the intent is once Essa builds the rock, the scanning rocket, I'll kind of or she can build a scanning rocket and I'll be building the gas mining rocket behind her. Hence why I'm going to need a lot of volatiles. Because the gas mining rocket, I'm just going to need her to scan down a volatile node. And I just need to fill it up. And... Go mining for volatiles. I 
I debated on potentially doing the same thing for oxygen. Maybe kind of like duplicate that oxygen setup. How much did I get? Not a lot extra. Okay. That's the best way to get out. Can't believe how much of a vacuum it is down here. You know what? Best way to get out. Dig straight up while going up. Okay. Oh. I'm free. Oh, there's a little bit of volatiles here. A lot of volatiles. Let's get them. And so the goal is, you know, she can do the rocket exploration, bring the rocket back, land it, all that stuff. Uh, scan down the nodes that I need for the gas. Figure out exactly where more of them are. I can just start mining volatiles because typically the way it goes is the volatile node is gives about 20 moles in the space ice it is a lot oh yes I'm offloading this is increasing which is good I want it to increase a bit and then I'll fire up the second NOS Like, if you haven't seen, these things can process the normal horse really, really quickly. Ooh, this is going to offload soon, too. You're active again. Is already gone. So, like, you know, this is condensing quite a decent chunk of vol volatiles. Look, I'm basically up to 2,000 liters. I want to get about 3,000, 4,000 liters, and that should be more than enough for a rocket. At the same point, I'm starting to wonder about this one as well. I got 7,000 liters. Uh, and the way it is, the math is approximately three times the liters of liquid volatiles for every one liter of oxygen. It's roughly. That's what you need to set the pressure engines to. Or, the, you know, the liquid-fed pressure engines. So that should be plenty. What if I do this? The stress is going to get really high. Because I do make quite a bit of liquid oxygen. That I expel out here. And the good news is I'm still slowly filling this up, which is what I want. Alright, let's go inside, eat and drink, clean up a bit. And then I gotta start working on what I intended to work on this whole time. Well, first I'm gonna fix that. That way it'll give a chance for my hygiene to naturally increase. Nom, 
nom 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 nom. Alright, uh, let's see. Nebula Nibbles and Space Spanners, Galactic Metallurgy, Nebula Nectars, that was a gas. So. I believe that's food. Orbiting oxygen is another gas. All right. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. So there's. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can. Okay. This is going to be a problem. Don't die as I'm about to cut your power briefly. Don't die. <laughs> And if she wakes up with brain damage, she's going to be upset with me. It's going to look ugly, but I need her awake to really fix that. Okay. Now, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure this is... Uh, a slot. Power open, pressure, temperature setting. Entity state 2. Okay. Let's look at cryotube. Cryotube, vertical, connections, entity state. This is going to take a little bit of, uh, uh, Essa tube, Shadow tube. Essa, Shadow tube, and Essa tube. Okay. Okay, so, alias. Uh, S tube, tube, D zero, alias, S a tube, D one. Okay. I think for the cryo tube, I want the quantity. I want the sum of the quantity. And I want to do L E S R one. No, it's just L S R one, and let's just do S two slot index zero occupied, and let's do L S R two S a two slot zero and occupied. I believe that's how it would work. I don't know that that'll work, so let's SDB setting as a tube, because she's currently the only one in there. Oh, come on. It's one. That should be good. Uh, let's put R1, because that would be mine. Should be zero, because I'm not in there. Zero, perfectly, okay. So. If I get the sum, let's do subtract R0. We use subtract R0, R1, sub R0, R0, R2. Because if it's occupied, we'll just remove something. I 
headset unblocked. Checking, checking, checking. Yep. That looks good. Okay. Okay. If I walk away. Yes! See? Fresh mind. So what that would mean is... For example, I go in. It's absolutely dark. Come out. Lights on. Yes! Alright. That'll save 100 watts of power. Does it matter? No. <laughs> but boy, did I want to save that. Okay. What was I doing? Uh, I'm not going to work on that yet. But I do need to print out large station battery. Hmm. Don't have as much Stella as I want to in here. Are you on or off? You're off. Come on, I need a liquid trader, please. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna start setting it up. There's a memory chip. Yeah. I am going to need you. Not on the floor, though. I'm gonna need one more memory chip, but the problem is I literally used up my... <laughs> I got my thing tied up. Okay, so you're not gonna be a gas trader. I'm not gonna get a liquid trader. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Let's go get this set up. Alright, so the ultimate goal. Uh, first things first, I gotta check on how much water actually went in here. 900 liquids. This is going to get hot. That's the liquid pollutants. My 100,000% efficiency. I still don't understand how that works, to be honest. Good. That's going to keep mixing fuel, because that was getting a little low. This is not hot enough yet. Oh, boy. Freezing. And you are six megapascals. One thing I do need to do is expand how many, how much volatiles are in those, because I think I can get more out of it. I just haven't really done much with it. All right, uh, let's get to work. So first thing first, I am going to need to mine out a good chunk of this. Looks like I'm gonna get a tiny bit of water. That's cool. I should really should build myself a pneumatic drill. I really should. I literally made a refill station. It, it works. I should. So 
so this is going to be the little area. I need to kind of expand this area a bit, probably close off this massive hole. Or maybe not. I haven't quite decided yet. So this area right here is going to be continuing where I do this. Okay, let's just... Still not enough pressure, but getting there. Uh, okay, let's see. Did I bring steel frames? Yes, I did. So I don't exp I don't want this to be really too big, but I am going to do this and weld it up. Because again, this is going to be inside, and I want to have access into this area in case I need to. I'm going to fully weld it eventually, but just not right now. Hundred and thirty one days, still no rocket. Let's fill in this hole. Getting tired of falling in it. Speaking of which, there's another one over here. Yep. Ha! Take that hole. Alright. So this is thirty three Celsius. That's a problem. Seven hundred fifty nine liters. Let's get that medium radiator and use that to cool that down because I don't need that water to be that hot because it's going to make the inside toasty. As fun as, I, as much as I want toasty. Where's that radiator? Where is that radiator? <sighs> One of these days, going to clean up this place. One of these days. Okay. Do we got a liquid guy yet? Star stop building space springs. All right, here we go. Finally, I get to show what I mean. You please be liquid. I'm gonna be upset if you're not a liquid. Okay. Got housing. I got chip. IC10. I need another IC10. Uh, how much cables do I have? Huh! Nowhere near enough. And the battery should be done so I can make one more memory chip. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, if that is a liquid trader. Uh, but first, before I do that, I need to go on ahead and put this convection radiator to cool down my water. eventually cool it down. Because admittedly, I do have a lot of hot water in there. Okay. Are you water? Yes, you are. So here's the thing. 
bulk liquid volatiles. You see he has a lot of it. The problem is he only sells one liter, 25 moles, for 15 space bucks. If I want to buy all of that, it'll cost me three grand, which is not bad, admittedly. That's 214 liters of liquid volatiles. That's a nice amount. On the opposite end, though, he's got liquid volatiles, 100 moles, 20 Celsius. <sighs> That's basically 4 liters worth of volatiles right there. And while he only gives me 20, that's 150 bucks. Literally half the price to get 80 moles, 80 liters worth. All I gotta do is cool it down. So, you, this, this is my thing with them. You're basically ripped off. Like, bulk water is a solid deal. The liquid trader's bulk water is significantly better than the gas trader's bulk water. Hands down, great deal. 10 out of 10, will recommend. However, for the liquids, they have a lot, you can, they can sell you a lot of liquids, but you are really, really, really paying for the fact that it's coming down at extremely chilled temps. So while I could buy that, it's it's debatable if it's worth it. If you're trying to get a liquid rocket up on like a hot planet, I think it's worth it. Maybe at that point it will be worth it. If you have a solid amount of money, it's probably worth it. But for a cold planet like Europa or Mimas, you're almost... Or the moon. You're... To be fair, why would you need liquid volatiles on the moon? It's really not worth it. I'd rather pay for the bulk volatiles, pump them into their tank, chill them down, and let that be it. It's much better. I think I need to go for a water run. No, let's do that later. Let's, let's wait for that to settle. Alright, so now comes the big thing. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have liquid... I believe it's like this. And then I am going to put a housing kit right next to y'all. You're not in the right spot, rightful spot, sir. So, this one is going to be a completely different network. Power and everything. I can make this smarter. Let's make this smarter. Come on. Uh. Okay. Let's do the same thing over here. Something tells me that I actually did not connect all of these network lines. I did not. Connect. 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 Perfect. Alright. So here's the thing. There's a way to do channel.
Uh, calm memory. Uh, let's see. You are the ore bending machine. So, what I want to do, have you be. Calm memory and the ore vending machine. And I want you to just be calm memory. This is where it's going to get a little bit interesting where I need to figure this out. So, for test runs, let's clear you. Uh, this is going to be my. Or vending machine status guy. Look, I, I'm not good with with I'm not very good with names. So, com alias uh vending d1. I'm pretty sure that's how it was. Main uh and yield j main. This is kind of where I'm not entirely sure how to get this going. Uh, I need to look that up. All right, so if I do S D calm, nope, just D zero. I guess I don't even need to do that. S D zero zero channel zero and for number you're just going to do one we're just going to do that the thing is i don't know i don't think i can read that in the config or the network analyzer Yeah, it just can't. Does the network analyzer say anything? It just says calm memory, calm memory. And so, what I gotta do on this end... And... You are going to be the... The silo... Vending... I don't know. Look, I, I don't come up with good names. You can instead be load d0 zero load to r0 I believe d0 zero, zero channel zero and then you're going to not do that sdb r uh setting r0 just to prove that R0 is zeroed, I will do that up there. And so the thing is, if I got that right, ooh. Okay. Let's we'll set you into a five then. Yes, I got it, okay. That's basically the network, how you can just send data from here to there. Now, that works for me for now. Now, I made a long time ago kind of like a vending machine. Fills the vending machine, sort of ore. I, I don't even know that I got that right. Sort of ores with power shoots. Let's just see what I got here. If not, I'll have to write it from scratch. Holy crap. This is how much I needed. Da -da. Okay, BQR4. So I'm going to need this. Okay. Just 
some degree. I'm going to need this. But I won't need this. Let's get rid of logic that I won't need. This is going to be in the other. So I don't need this. Then alias, as, as we see, com d0. I, I really don't think that I will need that. I won't need you. Shouldn't need you. Uh... Question is, why am I moving? Why am I moving to here? Moving and reinitializing that. This is how much I want, if I remember right. Zero and one. Two plus one goes to R3. EM. R3. Occupant hash. Okay, let me look at the vending machine for this. Because there's a reason I did that. Ah, that's why. Because I... We gotta we gotta start at so we gotta start at two because that's the first storage and it'll go all the way down. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. So we gotta start that off at two. We gotta set the index and then iron, coal, copper, silicon, gold, silver, nickel, lead, and cobalt. This is basically uh, set the index. Reads the occupant hash. Increments index. What happens if there's nothing on there? I stopped it at 50, but I really shouldn't stop it at 50. Because this is the inventory. Find out exactly how much is in my inventory. So, don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. I gotta do how to. I gotta learn how to do the. Uh... What you call it? N you know, jump, skip a line. There's a way to do that. Like the more I, 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 the more I do learn this game, the more I realize that there's just some stuff I just don't know. So I need to do, what has to happen is I need to do an, kind of like another mode type situation. I do an inventory check, and then I need to request, kind of like a request. And kind of like keep this paused. See, because this is the whole entire loop right here. But I gotta, oop, I gotta figure out when I hit an empty storage. So, let me... Let me go on ahead. Export you. Because you're just going to be doing something. Let me get another chip. That way I have this chip saved. I want to see what the vending machine says is empty, you know? Because I need to do that too. I need to kind of check and see what an empty is. Like, is it a nan? Should be a nan, I would think. Uh, gotta eat my muffin soon. Asteroid Emporium, Nebula Nucleus. Any good end traders? Uh,. I actually need a higher tier alloy trader. 
Let's drink a little water, eat my muffin. And... Look. Made the fuse lodge. Uh... I'm gonna need... Did he stack? They do not. Okay, you know what? Is there a locker kit? Yep, there they are. Alright. Let's just have a locker kit uh, right here. Is this the door? Every time. should probably store all of you guys in a nice, easy to find place. Because it's just going to be hard to build a rocket if I leave it all scattered on the floor like this. So, oop. Oh. Uh, let's see, got that. We're gonna need four of you, and I don't think you all stack. Ooh, I got some lag there. There's another engine. Building a rockets can be very resource intensive. Would I be able to back those up? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need two of these, probably. That's a lot of steel. Maybe I should call those guys down and buy their steel. Oh, good. Stellar smelter. actually can call this guy down in a reasonable amount of time. Because I'll need four gas, two shoots. Uh, I've got the shoots. Alright, because the mount is the bottom. Okay. Because these all have th different things. See, that's the engine mount, the fuse lodge, and then the, the top. You really can get very... creative. Let me go shut that off. It's warming up at my base. Analyzer. Let's just 
by. I'm gonna need a little bit more of you. Let's sell some stuff so that I can recoup some of that loss. Not really much of a loss. I mean, I really could just smelt my own steel and stuff like that. I'm just being very, uh... Not doing that, you know? 100. 200. 300. 400. 500. 600. Coal. 100. 200. 300. 400. 100. 200. 300. 100. 200. 300. 400. Yeah, this is what I'm going to add. 100. 200. 300. 100. 200. 100. 200. 150. 50. Okay. That'll do it. Said I was selling 400, 300 here, uh, 200 here. All of you, all of you, 200, 200, 600 bucks, and 150 bucks. Look at that, 33,000. Let's just buy another. Is by the asteroid. I might need that somewhere, but the thing is, I don't know where. Uh, okay. Let's go back to doing tests. I don't think I need to go in there just yet. Okay. So. So let's do alias vending machine D1 because that's that's technically where it is, right? D1. Yep. Main and uh, yield J end, and we're gonna do SDB setting R0. Okay. Now I was doing. Load slots. One sec. Ah, uh, load slots. We're going to go to R0. We're going to go to VM slot index. Let's do three occupant hash. Hash. For simplicity's sake, I think I am going to go build a console, but uh, that was a timer for me to go take a break, so let me go inside, up on my thing, and take a quick break so that I can kind of rest and also, also to kind of get a sense for how long I've been recording, because I've been losing a lot of that. Okay, so uh, let's see, and I can do the hash display. And I think I can just connect this to the memory chip. But uh, yeah, let's take a quick break. I don't need a shower.
Alright, I'm gonna go take a quick break and then I'll be right back to coding this. Alright, see you in a bit.